Hey everybody, good morning. It's time for the Coming Out Terror Intention of the Day. Uh, I hope you're all having a great start to your Thursday morning. Uh, hey Geneva, <coughs> a little uh, later than I have been maybe. Anyway, uh, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't been here, welcome. My name's Seth. Hey Brianne, and I run ComingOutTerror.com. You can find out more about Coming Out Terror with the little Perry dude down there. Hey Chase. Uh, the tarot intention of the day is a way for you to approach your day with thoughtfulness, mindfulness, and awareness so that you are going through your day with some action. Good morning. Hey, Carpe. Rather than hoping that things are going to turn out the way you want. So the tarot intention of the day is just that. It's a way for you to be active in your day and move the outcome of the events in the direction which you'd like it to go. So if you're not quite sure how to do that, I definitely recommend checking this out at the end of the day. If you're not following me, follow me so you can catch these lives so you know how to put the intention in uh, at the beginning of the day and hopefully share it with other people so that they can benefit from this intention of the day as well. If you're not quite sure what to do, with it when you're hearing it live, then I definitely recommend check it out at the end of the day. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Chase. The reason I say that is you can reflect on the events that occurred during the course of your day and how, if you had applied the intention that I'm about to give you, you could have moved the outcome of those events in the direction in which you'd like them to go. So that's a great way to study and learn how to use the intention of the day. Hey, Debbie. Uh, and if you can't find it here because it's only up for 24 hours, then you can also find it on other channels like YouTube or Facebook at the same handle, Coming Out Tarot. I'll also throw the picture up on morning on my Instagram, which is also Coming Out Tarot, so you can find it there. So, whatever channel is easier for you to find it on. So, without much ado, I don't use this. I, I don't think any of you guys may have seen this deck on a Tarot Intention of the Day. It's Archie on Tarot. Uh, I use it every once in a while. I've got to be in the mood to use this deck. Uh, and uh, I was in the mood last night and this morning. So, it's another shiny deck. The card that I pulled for today is the Ten of Swords. And what's unique in this card today is not only the man who's been stabbed and lying... Uh, little prone on his back, but the moon that's up in the top. The moon is important to me. Uh, the Ten of Swords can often mean something's ending, something's beginning. It, it depends on, uh, you know, you're in that cycle of things changing, especially around the realm of how you approach something or how you're thinking about it. In this particular instance, though, it's about dreams. And I don't mean the dreams like you have at night. I mean the dreams that you have of achieving, those dreams that you want to do, um, you, want to, you want to reach out like a goal. That big dream that you're trying to achieve or that you've put off, it's time to either get started on it or you're killing it, meaning you're ruining your opportunity to achieve your dream and you need to change face. You need to like switch gears, you need to turn the other way, take the other road, <coughs> whatever metaphor works for you. Hey, as a fate, uh, it's time to, to move in the direction that helps you achieve your dream rather than continuing the in the direction that's uh, causing you to kill it. Uh, hey, oh, boom, <laughs> all of my, all my, like, there's like five different, I feel like a, you know, a parent who's about to call out the name of a child, but like five different names go through your head. Hey, eyes. <laughs> Uh, so that's the intention of the day. That's pretty intense, right? And it's, it's one of those hard truth intentions of the day. Take a look at how you're trying to achieve your goals <laughs> and, and think about what are you doing to sabotage achieving that goal? And turn the other way. It's time to get going the other way. But it's got to be a hard turn. It's got to be a conscious turn. So that's your intention of the day. If this is helpful, please share it with other people. Make sure you follow me so you can catch these live. And let other people know about the intention of the day. Awesome. I'm so happy, Carpe. Cool. If you, I don't think you got to see the card eyes. Here's the uh, uh, card. It's the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> So uh, share with other people, let them benefit from the intention of the day. I'd love to have other people um, see this and know that I love this card. I'm fascinated that you hate it. You'll have to send me a message, tell me why you hate it. Uh, and let me know how things are going with uh, you putting this intention of the day into practice. Drop me a message on any of those social channels you like and uh, let me know. I'd love to hear about it because uh, I'd love to hear how the intention of the day is helping people out. So uh, everybody have a great Thursday. I am. Um, I may or may not be on a Friday. I'm waiting for a message from someone. I'm supposed to have a birthday, like a late birthday party on Friday. Um, 
but that is currently up in the air as of this morning. So I think I might be on tonight and I may be on tomorrow. I'll let you follow me. If you're not following me, you won't get the message. So get, uh, follow me and you'll know if I'm coming on because I like to get on on Fridays, but it may be tonight where I do um, some one card free readings based on the lottery and some 10 minute $10 readings uh, if you'd like some more insight on a question. So thanks everybody. Have a great Thursday. I'll see you later.